Hello, my name is George Bartley. I'm from the Department of Ophthalmology of the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. We're here today at the annual meeting of the American Academy of Ophthalmology, and we're privileged to have a few minutes from the very busy schedule of Dr. Ruth Williams, who is the president-elect of the Academy. Ruth, thanks so much for joining us. What Thank are you. your top priorities during your upcoming term as Academy president? Well, I'm going to talk about two issues. One is an issue that pertains to U.S. ophthalmology, and then one topic it will be about global ophthalmology. The biggest challenge in 2012 to the U.S. ophthalmologist is going to be around the um, reimbursement compression. There's no question in our minds that there'll be some challenges to reimbursement from um, CMS and Medicare. And so this is going to put some pressure on ophthalmology practices. One of my interests is in viewing this not as a terrible thing, but as an opportunity for us to deliver healthcare, deliver ophthalmology care with more efficiency and to um, really create a better medical product for our patients. The second focus of my presidency will be around global ophthalmology and how the academy is really there for all ophthalmologists. I think there are a couple things that make that possible and one is the internet and the development of the One Network. The One Network provides educational opportunities for every ophthalmologist um, through um, the internet and we're developing increasing programs, um, video programs that can be very helpful for people. The other issue is that the uh, academy member is becoming increasingly diverse and I would like to see an academy that reflects that diversity both in this country and in our global community. Well, speaking of uh, the diversity of the academy, can you comment on how the profile of the typical AAO member has changed during the past 25 years? What does the future hold? Well, we have a snapshot of the future because we have very good demographic data about the both the U.S. and the international ophthalmologist. 25 years ago, 87% of ophthalmologists were Caucasian and 86% were male. Today, it's dramatically different. Nearly a third of our young ophthalmologists are of Asian descent, and there's a ethnic diversity among the ophthalmologists. About a third of our young ophthalmologists are now women as well. Another dramatic change is that young ophthalmologists are subspecializing, very high percentages of them. And if we ask people who are in residency, uh, a majority of them are planning to go into some residency, uh, some fellowship training program. One last change is that our young ophthalmologists are increasingly moving into large group practices and are very, it's very unusual for a young ophthalmologist to go into private practice, private solo practice. Well, speaking of large groups, uh, in addition to your many, many hours of work that you uh, devote to the academy, you have a day job as a physician lead uh, of a very successful, very large single specialty private practice in the Chicago area. How do groups such as yours effectively interact with other other non-ophthalmologist providers to optimize care for patients? Well, the most interesting dynamic for our group, um, we have a sweet and eye clinic and we have four offices and about 140,000 patient visits a year. And because of our multiple locations, we have relationships with several integrated healthcare systems. So the idea of being involved with one hospital and knowing all the physicians at that hospital is an obsolete strategy for us. So we have to interact with multiple emergency rooms, multiple staffs, multiple EMRs, and that is somewhat of a challenge because I still believe in personal relationships and it just takes more work to be known in multiple hospitals and multiple integrated systems. From my perspective, one thing that I've done is taken time to meet with the CEOs and upper management of each of the systems so that we have a personal relationship. We've also 
asked our individual physicians to cultivate relationships so any one Wheaton Eye Clinic physician can't know doctors at multiple offices, but one physician can create lots of relationships at one hospital. Well, creating and maintaining relationships is certainly going through great change now in our society. Uh, what is the Academy doing as regards social media and uh, online education? Well, I'll talk about online education first and social media second. The One Network is our central area for online education and the resources available are very deep. Um, ophthalmologists can come and um, find resources for um, um, maintenance of certification process, for learning, um, uh, part of their learning plan, or s specifically in the day-to-day -day practice to find out information about a particular disease or problem that one might have. Um, the one network is increasingly using video as a means of um, educating. There's also a community site for ophthalmologists where we can come together in a social network uh, closed in private community and discuss cases, get information. There are specialty specific rooms there and one of the most valuable discussions in the online community has been around uh, electronic health records. You mentioned that uh, your practice uh, in, uh, in the Wheaton area in Chicago, suburb of, su suburbs of Chicago, interacts with a number of different hospitals, a number of different EHRs, EMRs. Uh, what do you use in your practice right now? Well, we're in a, a transitional product called SRS, and it's really not an electronic health record at this time. It's a document management system, and we still write old-fashioned notes and then scan them. The nice thing about SRS is that um, they have qualified for phase one of meaningful use and uh, are working on uh, phase two of meaningful use. So um, it gives us an opportunity to implement the standards for uh, uh, meaningful use. Um, however, I imagine that we will get a full EHR at some time in the future. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the academies had um, uh, some good representation in Washington uh, from our staff and colleagues uh, trying to share the particular needs of ophthalmology and similar specialties that have a lot of visuals. Uh, can you comment on that at all, the work of Michael Chang and his team? Well, ophthalmology is always uh, has special um, requirements in multiple areas and electronic health records are exactly that, um, an example of that. Yes, our need to draw pictures is significant and the uh, platforms that have been available really didn't address uh, the needs of ophthalmology. One of the problems is that because we're a smaller specialty, companies haven't been willing or able to put large resources into doing that. And so um, working in a very um, proactive way has helped some products uh, develop. That's great. Well, Dr. Williams, we know that your schedule for the next few days is just packed to the, to the full, so we're so grateful that you've taken a few minutes to visit with us, and uh, good luck over the next few days of the meeting, and good luck next year as president of the Academy. Thank you so much.